channel. If you're new, make sure you subscribe, especially if you like like anything fashion related really. Like hauls, lookbooks, anything you can imagine that is fashion related, I'll be doing it. So make sure you subscribe. Um, today I will be doing an introduction video. I thought a cool way to introduce myself would be to do a 50 facts about me video. So yeah, here we go. Um, if you see me looking down at my phone, that's because I wrote it all down on my phone. Because there's no way I can remember 50 facts. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, here we are. The first fact is I am 21. <laughs> Second fact, um, I'm actually studying to be a personal stylist through the New York Institute of Art and Design. I've been doing it for a few months and it's really interesting and I love it. It's cool learning something that I'm actually interested in because, you know, like high school and everything, I really wasn't interested in what I was learning. So, it's just cool. It's just really cool. <laughs> um, number three, I actually work as a personal stylist for an app called Taylor. If you don't know what Taylor is, it's a free app where you can um, ask for fashion advice, basically. So, like, say you didn't know what to wear with a top, or, like, you needed an outfit for um, a party or anything, or you just wanted some fashion inspiration, um, you can ask, and we will send that over for you. It's really, really fun. I love it. It's like I said before about school, it's really cool working, doing something that I love because I'm not really used to doing that and getting paid for it. So it's really awesome. <laughs> um, next fact is number four. It's really random, but I am obsessed with carbs. I could eat pasta all day and I would. I'm trying to eat healthier though because I just need to eat healthier. <laughs> I can't just eat pasta because it's literally what I would just eat. Like I would just eat carbs, pasta, any bread, anything like that. So yeah. <laughs> it's pretty bad, but I'm trying to be better, so <laughs> um number five, my name Dominique actually means belonging to God. And that's such a cool way to like define myself as being God's and I love that so much. <laughs> so yeah. Um my biggest fear is basically everything. I am a nervous Nelly. If you haven't noticed already, I'm full of a lot of nervous energy. <laughs> I actually can't drink coffee because the caffeine makes me like freak out. Like it plunges me into anxiety attacks. It's not cute. So <laughs> piggybacking off of that, next the next fact is I actually struggle with a few anxiety disorders, which um it's kind of a personal thing to talk about, but I feel like it's important to be open about that because a lot of people struggle with anxiety or depression or any mental illness, anything, any, excuse me, a lot of mental illnesses. So, um, raising awareness and being open about it is important so people know that they're not alone and it's not like a weird thing. It's normal. A lot of people struggle with it, so. I can talk. Um, next fact is piggybacking off of the anxiety thing I'm actually terrified of driving um, I try and drive as much as I can but I really only drive around near my house um, and I have to like practice driving or I like won't do it like I have to practice driving to a certain location or before I do it by myself basically I don't know it's weird but I basically the moral of the story is that I'm afraid, terrified of driving and I'm trying to work on it but I plan on moving somewhere where I won't have to drive so I just won't have to, so I just won't have to deal with it I'm looking at you New York City <laughs> so yeah next fact my eye color is brown if you haven't noticed um, number 10, the most important thing in my life is Jesus and my relationship with him. Um, without him I would just be a mess. Like, I'm already a mess, so like, if you can imagine the amount of mess I would be in without him, I just wouldn't be able to function. It wouldn't be cute. Um, I'm in a very codependent relationship with Jesus. <laughs> um, so yeah, that's number 10. Number 11, 
is I am obsessed with old movies. Like anything from the 1930s to 1950s, I love. I love musicals. I love anything basically. What I like about old movies, old movies is they're kind of like, they're pretty wholesome. <laughs> A lot of movies nowadays are kind of like really like gross and they're full of a lot of like stuff that I don't, really I don't want to be watching. Like inappropriate stuff. I sound like an old lady but you know what. I am an old lady so. But and I just think old movies are written better. Like just the um, dialogue. It's like fast and it's like witty and I just appreciate that so. Piggybacking off of that. My favorite actor is Fred Astaire. He's an old movie actor and I love him so much. <laughs> like, it's a problem. Uh, actually, you'll see in my next, in my thrift haul, I actually found a plate with him on it in California. <laughs> and I love it so much. <laughs> I, like, never find anything with him on it. Like, ever. I go to, like, thrift stores and flea markets, flea markets and stuff a lot. And I just never find anything with him on it, ever. So, it's really, I was really excited when I found that. <laughs> Um, next fact, number 13, is two essentials in my closet are my Adidas track pants, which I'm actually wearing right now. Um, you can't really see them, here you go. <laughs> but they are so comfortable and they are so cute that I just wear them all the time, like it's a problem. <laughs> like, I really, but I just got them too and I have, I've basically not taken them off since I got them. <laughs> So, and my other essential is a jean jacket. I wear jean jackets a lot too because they're cute and they're a good addition to basically anything. They match basically anything and I love that. So, my two essentials. Um, next up, 14. My favorite song right now. Honestly, I can't stop listening to the Jesus Christ Superstar soundtrack. I love it so much. Like the live version that they just had on TV. I like... I just love it. Like, I can't stop listening to it. Like, it's a problem. Like, I'll, like, listen to it every night. <laughs> um, I don't know how to love him. I, that song is so pretty. I just, it's just, please listen to it, listen to it if you haven't. It's so good. It's so pretty. <laughs> um, next fact, 15. My favorite time of day is probably in the morning. I just feel more productive in the morning for whatever reason. Um, 16, my favorite, my favorite candle scent is like anything cotton or like beach related so like ocean or I don't know what else they have anything beach I don't know <laughs> I really like water scents I think those are really pretty yeah so next number 17 I am really bad at math like it's I probably have the math skills of a third grader like it's it's not even it's so bad like I'd I'm not even bragging because it's like a horrible thing. It's horrible that I'm so bad at math, but I am literally terrible. <laughs> like, um, when I used to work as a cashier, people would try and hand me money but after I put it in there, after I like calculated it into the register, and I just could not do that in my head. Like, I just, like, how do you do that in your head? Like, I just could not. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm terrible at math. Not cute. <laughs> Number 18. I am obsessed with going to casinos. Like I guess, like I said, I'm an old lady. I love, I just love it. I don't really know why. I guess it's the prospect of possibly winning money. I don't know. No, you know why? Because I'm I'm in love with arcades, and casino casinos are like grown up arcades, like arcades for grown ups, <laughs> and you win money. It's really cool. I actually just went to California, and we had a layover in Vegas. And I won $178, which I was so excited. So that's actually what I spent all my, that's the money I used to buy all my stuff for my thrift haul that I'll be showing you guys soon. So, I love casinos. Um, number 19, I am such a messy person. Like, it's a problem too. That's another problem I have. Like I try and be organized, but it'll just get messy again in like two seconds. Like I don't have a cute room. My room, I mean, my wall's cute, but like my floors, it's just like, just stuff. And right next to me, right here, I have a pile of clothes that I need to organize. And it's just, I don't have a cute YouTuber room. I have a messy room. <laughs> so yeah. Next fact is, let me see. 
Um, I don't have any tattoos, but I would love to get tattoos, but I'm honestly a wimp, and I don't know if I'd be able to handle the pain. Um, so yeah. Um, if I got a tattoo, I'd probably get either Jesus on my wrist, or, or like a cross, or, um, like, lyrics, I guess. I don't know. Or something Disney or Disney related, because I'm obsessed with Disney, but... I don't know if it's ever going to happen because I'm a wimp. <laughs> no, you know what I would get? Kylo Ren's lightsaber. I love him. From Star Wars? Yeah. That's what I would get. I love him. <laughs> um, number 21. I have a birthmark under one of these eyes. I forget. I think it's this one. I'm not sure. I think it's this one though. <laughs> yeah, I have, I've had a birthmark there ever since I was born. And I've had people think that it's like told me that I should get it checked because it, it could be cancerous, but I don't, I don't know. Whatever. It hasn't, like, moved, so I think it's okay, but I'll keep an eye on it. Not to get weird. Um, next fact. Um, number 22. My first celebrity crush was probably Aaron Carter. Probably, but... I went through a phase where I was literally obsessed with the Jonas Brothers for like four years. Like I was on their fan club and I was like, they were like my life. Like it was a problem. I actually met them and I was so embarrassing. <laughs> I was literally so embarrassing. I was so nervous and I embarrassed myself. <laughs> I gave Joe a letter, which was like the most embarrassing thing I've ever done because the letter was a hot mess. It was just bad. <laughs> Number 23, I've actually been single my whole life. I'm a luxury if you can afford. <laughs> no, I'm just really picky. So. I think it's good to be picky. Honestly, don't just settle. Just wait for the right person. You know? Like, don't just date someone to date someone. So, yeah. Um, number 24. I have never been out of the country. I actually didn't get off the East Coast until I was 17. So, I'd like to get out of the country. I'd like to visit Europe. I'd love to go to Israel. That would be such a cool place to go. But, money. Money is an issue. Um, next fact, I am the youngest child and I have an older sister. Um, number 26, I hate talking on the phone. Like, I hate it so much. I don't even know why I hate it. I just hate it a lot. And I avoid it as much as I can. But, you know, sometimes you just gotta talk on the phone and it's just... I hate it. Um, number 27, I actually did karate for about four years when I was younger. Um, I was actually two belts away from a black belt when I quit. So, don't mess with me, I'm going to beat you up. Just kidding, I probably forget it all, but... I like to think that I could defend myself if I was ever in that situation, but hopefully it would all come back to me. <laughs> um, Number 28, like I mentioned previously, I am obsessed with Disney, and I've probably been to Disney World more than 21 times. <laughs> so, yeah, I love Disney. Like, it's a problem. Um, number 29, I really wish I could sing. I really can't. I like to pretend I can, but I really can't. <laughs> um, when I'm, I'm currently reading, like, three books right now. One of them is He Calls, Me Beautiful, he Calls You Beautiful by Dee Breston. It's about the book of the, blah, blah, blah. it's about the Song of Solomon, the book, of the, the book in the Bible, and it's so good. I definitely recommend it. And speaking of that, my favorite books of the Bible is the Song of Solomon and the Book of John. Um, my favorite place to shop, honestly, lately I've been going to like, I've been shopping online on those really like cheap stores like Romwe and um, it's called Shein. Like they're, they're so cheap but their stuff is really cute. So I've been shopping there a lot because I can afford it. <laughs> and I really like thrifting. I don't buy not in second hand a lot. 
So thrifting is like half of my closet is stuff that's thrifted. Like the majority of what I own. So. <laughs> um, number 33. My favorite book is Beautiful Outlaw by John Eldridge. It's about Jesus and it's really, really, really good. I definitely recommend it if you would want to read that. It's so good. Um, number 34. I'm honestly on the fence if I want kids or not. If I do have kids, it'll probably be when I'm like 30. Because I want to like make sure I'm ready because that's a really big responsibility yeah um number 35 I actually have a blog too it's a petiteflower.com if you want to check it out it's a fashion blog like this is a fashion I'm a fashion vlogger <laughs> so check that out if you want to I'll probably link that in the description uh, number 36, I actually have my own vintage clothing store online too. I've, I've done that for about four years and I love it. Um, I sell through Etsy. It's a petite flower, vin a petite flower vintage .com. So if you want to check that out, that would be awesome. Um, my favorite app is probably Instagram. It's probably what I'm on the most. Either that or YouTube. I love watching YouTube videos. So yeah. Um, number 38. I can't dance to save my life. Like I literally just flail. Like I'll just flail. That's how I dance. <laughs> um, 39. If I had a million dollars, I would probably buy a lot of apartments in different places like New York City, Florida, so I can be near Disney World. Um, maybe California because California is really pretty. Um, you know, just a lot of places. So I could travel a lot and have somewhere to stay. I think that would be a really good idea instead of just buying a really big house. Um, number 40, the last song I listened to was Anybody Else by John McLaughlin. I love him. He, his voice is beautiful. Um, my favorite band is 10th Avenue North. I've, I love them too. They're the first Christian band I actually listened to. And <laughs> at the last concert I went to, I was wearing a 10th Avenue North shirt and we got in early. And I was just sitting there, and then all of a sudden the lead singer came up and sat next to me, and I got a picture with him, and it was so cool. It really made my life. I was so excited. I love them. They're a really good band. If you haven't listened to them, I definitely suggest you look them up. They're the best. 10th, 10th Avenue North. Yeah. Look them up. They're awesome. Um, pause. Um, number 42, I'm left-handed. Yeah, I'm left-handed. Um, number 43, I sleep with one pillow. Number 44, I shop way too much. Like, I impulse, I impulse buy a lot. It's kind of a problem. <laughs> um, number 45, I'm totally introverted. Like, I get to a point where I need to be by myself or to recharge or I get really cranky like a five-year-old. It's not good. <laughs> I'm an INFP, which honestly I can tell you what it stands for, but I'm an INFP, if you know what that means. <laughs> um, I hate loud toilets. I hate anything loud really. When I was little, I would just, I would, I would hide during the credits for movies. Because I just, I couldn't, um, I hate anything loud. I hate anything loud and I still don't like loud noises, which is kind of a weird thing, but, so yeah. <laughs> like, loud toilets are the worst. Like, they, especially when they just all of a sudden just go and it scares you. It's just, just not okay. Next fact, I'm left-handed. Um, number 43, I sleep with one pillow, which I, which I feel like is kind of weird. Because a lot of people sleep with a lot, but. I only need one. I don't know if it's weird or not, but whatever. You know what? Whatever. Um, I shop way too much. Like, I'll impulse buy a lot, which isn't good. <laughs> I'm a mess. But I just love the shop. It's fun. It's like, I like re retail therapy. That's a thing. That's a real thing. <laughs> um, next fact. I am definitely introverted. Like, 100%. Like, I will need to recharge when I'm around people. And if I don't, I get really cranky. Like a five-year-old. It's not cute. It's not cute. 
Um, I am an INFP. I forget what that stands for, but I all I remember is introverted. Yeah, that's all I remember. And the P is per perceptive, I think. But if you know what that means, <laughs> um, number 48, I love birds. I actually used to feed. I have a, my window and there's a roof so I could put bird seed on the roof and I'd watch the birds eat. That was really cute. Like I said, I'm an old lady. Um, <laughs> I love birds. I like my favorite bird is morning dove. One of the morning doves, which is those little doves you see around, like in your backyard and stuff. They're so cute. They walk like this. <laughs> it's so cute. <laughs> um, number 49, my birthday is August 22nd. So if you want to send me a present, go ahead. No. <laughs> um, 96, obviously, I'm 21. Um, and the last fact is I am 5'1". I am really short. Um, I like being short for the most part, except when I'm at concerts, because then I can't see. And that's not fun. So yeah, that's me. That's me. So yeah, um, thank you for watching. If you made it through this whole video, you win a prize, because this was very long. Um... Make sure you subscribe if you haven't already if you want to see more videos like this. And see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.